If you operate an aircraft in the winter months, there's the possibility of having to taxi, take off, or land on a contaminated surface. A surface is considered contaminated whenever standing water, ice, snow, slush, or frost of any form is present. Contaminated surface operation requires additional pilot skill and attention and is not something to take lightly. Being informed and planning ahead is the first step to staying safe in aviation. Be careful to choose the type of airport you wish to operate from. An airdrome that adheres to ICAO standards actively clears the surfaces of the majority of contamination and provides a CRFI or Canadian Runway Friction Index may be your best option. The CRFI found in the Airdrome's NOTAM along with the crosswind component chart found in your CFS can be a valuable resource in your decision making process. The proper use of this information will give you a good idea of how controllable the aircraft will be during the takeoff run or landing roll. If operating out of an uncontrolled Airdrome, you're more or less on your own. If at all possible, you should walk the taxiways and runways prior to departure. This will give you an idea of what type of surface contamination there is, as well as the depth of any snow. For the arrival airdrome, call the airdrome operator prior to departure to get a runway advisory. Although a useful aid to your decision making, remember that this is an advisory only, and you as pilot in command still make the ultimate decision to land or not. And remember to check for PIREPs, as they can be a great tool in your decision making process. Engine run-ups can pose a particular challenge if the surface conditions are slippery. If the wheels are on ice or packed snow, as power is increased to perform the run-up, the aircraft can begin to creep forward, potentially into another aircraft or obstacle. It's advisable to perform your run-up while on bare pavement, especially at night, when the aircraft creep can be more difficult to detect. When taxiing on a contaminated surface, take your time. If the wind is strong, your aircraft may want to weathercock into the wind. The problem is often compounded by speed and can lead to the aircraft departing the taxiway. Remember to always use proper aileron and elevator control inputs as outlined in your aircraft flight manual or POH. These control inputs will aid in the ground control ability of your aircraft even at lower speeds. Snowbanks can pose additional hazards for pilots of high wing and low wing aircraft alike. Don't forget that the wings stick out a significant distance from where you are, so keep your head moving and be aware of the position of your aircraft in relation to the sides of the taxiway and runway. Snow may seem soft, but it can cause considerable damage to an aircraft in motion. Remember, never ride the brakes while taxiing, especially in cold weather. Any snow or slush caught on the braking system will melt from the heat generated by brake usage. It can then refreeze once the aircraft is airborne, causing the wheels to become stuck in place. The unsuspecting pilot is now in a situation of having little or no control of the aircraft during the landing roll. Be particularly careful when arriving at an unfamiliar aerodrome. In some cases, the snow is removed from the runway and piled up just to the side of the runway surface. This usually isn't a problem if you land on the center line. However, if you choose to land to the side of the center line for operational reasons, or if you drift right or left, the snowbanks can present a considerable hazard. Finally, be aware of snow removal vehicles. If you want to depart, it's best to wait until they finish clearing the snow. It'll probably make it easier for you anyway. If you're inbound to an uncontrolled airdrome that's being cleared, you'll need to wait until the snow removal vehicles leave the runway. You may consider diverting to another airport, but make sure you have enough fuel to make it there with at least the proper car's minimum reserves. If you're unable to wait for the runway to be cleared, make a precautionary low-level pass over the runway to alert the snow removal vehicles to your intention of landing. In some cases, they'll be able to leave the runway area and allow you to land. Winter flying can be a lot of fun, but remember to plan ahead. Take your time, and if in doubt about your ability to handle the ground conditions, save the flying for another day.